Well, hello everyone. The Ontario Garden here, back with another extreme automation tutorial. And the age-old question is, can you automate beans? No, you can't, but you can auto-plate them. So what you see before you is as close to automating beans on toast as we can get currently at this stage of recording this video. At some point, there may, may be a mechanic or an appliance brought in that where you can portion beans into a pot. Right now, there is none. But you can put a pair, pot of beans on a combiner, and you slap a plate here with toast on it, and it auto-plates the beans on toast. And you say, okay, that's great, but then what about what about toast that doesn't have beans? Well, that's what this sec the second section over here is. Now, what you see before you from, I'll show you guys with my mouse here, okay? So from this frozen prep station around the back here is your common, my common at least, way to automate toast. Now, could you make this more compact with corner grabbers? Of course you can, but that's not the point of this video. The typical, or my, again, my way, which I find is the best way to fully automate breakfast, <coughs> or toast at least, is you have your flour, first follow my mouth, the flour, going to a grabber, going to the sink with a combiner. The combiner does the wetting action onto the flour to make a dough ball, goes from this grabber to a safety hob. This is the slowest part of the whole of the whole thing, but again, this is more of a later game or a very late game where you have frozen prep stations or you have freezers with loaves already in them from the day before. Goes from there, it gets portioned directly from this. Again, typically you don't recommend doing this because you can only do one loaf at a time, but again, for this tutorial, you understand, just look at my auto toast video. I have a video exactly how I would set this up. But anyway, we're gonna go from the portioner to a grabber to a safety hub which cooks the toast, the bread to a toast, frozen prep. From this frozen prep, it either goes down into these frozen preps to here or it goes over to here. So if it goes to the right hand side, you're auto plating just plain toast, simple. If you're going to the left, you're auto plating toast. But because you have this setup here, this is a bit of a ring for automating beans in, in the sense of auto portioning beans. It should be auto portioning beans. Basically, you take a pot, you put beans on them, put it on the safety hob. You grab another pot, beans, put it here. Another pot, beans, put it here in the beginning of the day. Now, again, Beans cook very, very fast. Beans only have five portions, but if you have three pots, that's 15 portions, and that's a decent amount. Because like I said, not every not every person orders beans on toast. So as long as you keep this up, again, you can stock these three up with one, two, three grabbers. Um, there's a safety or a smart grabber here because if not, these will just continue to cycle around these three, which isn't a big deal, except it's annoying to look at because it's constantly cycling three pots. As soon as a plate appears with toast on it, it instantly takes it and puts it on, but then it continues on its way. So again, it's visually not as appealing. Um, but again, if you're at this stage of automation where you have corner grabbers, you're bound to have at least one smart grabber. Now, the key with this setup here is you have to keep plates full. This could be very easily changed as far as having that, that whole bread thing tucked away in a corner somewhere, and you just have you know anything from this frozen prep on would just be for where you're portioning things. You could set this up a bit differently instead of having a spread like this. You could have corner grabbers where they come out and come directly like this. Again, there's multiple ways to set this up, but the concept is the same. Now... You guys want to see this in action, don't you? I have a bunch of counters over here, so when I start plating this, I'll take it from this. Now, for the demonstration, because the safety hob is so slow, I'm going to replace the safety hob with the counter, and I'm going to swap this like this. So basically what's going to happen is the dough ball is going to come and be made here. I'm going to cook it in the oven. This is just, again, for demonstration purposes, because the safety hob cooks incredibly slow compared to an oven. Oven is 2x speed. You could use a danger hob for this as well and your safety hob is only 0.75. So it's two and a half times, or roughly two and a half times the same s the speed of this. Just for demonstration purposes, it doesn't affect how this runs. It's just gonna be quicker for you guys to see. Now, without further ado, like I said, before I run this, is wherever there's a frozen prep or a few some freezers along this way, you won't have to make toast right away and you get right into your plating. But let's let it run, get the initial dough ball, Boom, boom. Let's just cook this here. If I can get a second one going on here, it's just going to take a while. And you see, this one's probably going to be done very quickly. 
three, two, one, done. Okay, now it's gonna start portioning. I can put another one in here. Don't pay attention to what I'm doing up top. It's irrelevant for this. Uh, now you have another safety hob, of course, because that's how you cook toast, really. All right, second one's done. This one isn't even finished. Now, you're like, oh no, what happened? There's no beans. Yeah, there's no beans. You know why? Because you have to get beans going. Get a couple pots. You can get all three pots ready to go here if you want, and just watch what happens. Boom, auto-plated, right? Pull it away. Watch what happens. Auto-plated beans on toast. Auto-plated beans on toast. Beans on toast. And now the first pot finished. So what you, all you do is you grab the pot, tap it on the beans. I mean, you could set this up differently if you like. Second plate, done. Beans on toast. Now, again, the way you typically would do toast this way is that you would... Um, how can I grab a piece of toast without it grabbing? Not that way, because I can't grab it from the... But anyway, the main way... You, the other way around is you grab the plate with the toast, and then you just tap it on this. Or you could just tap it on here. But again, that's not automating, is it? Nope, it's definitely not. So, I'm full of too many plates in my hand. So... The, the biggest thing with, with this method, now again, imagine these are tables and you're washing dishes. Now again, like I said, I'm just gonna get out of this. This, isn't, this doesn't need to run. You get the idea about the pros and prep stations. They're just there as placeholders for this video. This could be made much more compact. Again, this is just to demonstrate that this is possible. So let's put everything back together the way it would be set up if you're doing a real run here. Um, again, this could be freezers in here. It could be frozen preps here and there. It doesn't. It's that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is you can auto plate beans, and as long as you have a plate stack here, like say this is your plate stack. Say this is maybe you could put this whole thing on this side over here, right? Or curve this around like this to be a bit of an L shape and, and wedge this up against the side of your counter, or however it's set up. You could you could you could use a teleporter on this. You could have a teleporter sitting right here after the grabber you can have a teleporter sitting here after after the auto player and that could be sending it to your tables one by one but again we're not talking about that that would be a little bit extreme automation which we're not doing that yet <laughs> anyway guys the point being of this video is that you can automate beans on toast you just can't automate beans into a pot that's the only thing you can't automate other than that everything else can be automated which I demonstrated here. So hopefully you enjoyed this. This is a fun video. It's, it's, is it practical? Not really. Is it possible? 100%. Is what you see in this run obtainable by, you know, a normal player or a group of players playing? Of course it is. I've set up runs exactly like this, minus the auto bean thing. Um, in some of my series runs, as so as, far as, as some of my streams as well. So it's 100% possible in a vanilla game to obtain Maybe not all these frozen prep stations, mind you, but again, all the grabbers, corner grabbers, etc., etc., very easily obtained during a normal run. So, thank you guys for joining me. This was this was a you know a fun one to do, uh, just to prove a point that you can auto plate beans on toast. You just can't auto plate or auto cook beans. You can't automate beans, but you can automate beans on toast. And also, you can you know the way this is set up here, you wouldn't actually need this auto plater here. You could just grab this and, and slap a piece of toast again. You can interpret interpret this however you like. Proof of concept is that this is possible. It does work. It works flawlessly once you get the system running. The only thing you got to worry about is putting pots of beans on here or somewhere along these two grabbers or here. Again, you can put a grabber right here and just face it like this. There's many ways you could do this, um, but this is a this is the easiest way just to show you to demonstrate how this works. So thank you guys so much for joining me. If you like this type of content, please consider leaving me a subscribe to the channel. It'd be much appreciated. And if you like this video specifically or any other videos that deal with debunking myths or stuff like that that are part of my Play Up series, please leave me a like as well as a comment. I always enjoy reading all the comments I get from everybody. All my supporters and all my fans is always much appreciated. And I try to always respond to everybody's comments either with a thumbs up, a heart, or a personalized comment right back to you. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And again, if you have any suggestions or any type of videos you'd like to see from me, whether it be automation type, debunking myths, playthroughs, which I have a playthrough run that drops every day, 9 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time. Every single day, there's a vanilla gameplay solo series that drops every single day, 9 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time, or Eastern Time, I guess, because we're going to be in daylight time, <laughs> the recording of this video. But anyway, 9 o'clock Eastern, 
uh, 9 a.m. Eastern. So thank you to stay tuned to that. And also, you can always watch me on Twitch Sunday, Monday, and Wednesday evenings around 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern. Sometimes on Tuesdays around 9 o'clock Eastern for Played Up, as well as some other fun games that I'll be bringing to you guys very soon. Thank you again for joining me, and I'll catch you in the next fun automation video. <laughs> or debunking miss. Take your pick. Thanks, guys. Take care now.